Okay, first and all, hi and welcome to this uh, workshop on manifestation. Okay, what do you understand by the term uh, manifestation? Take a take some shape or something of you know, uh, I don't know. Come in some I think to shape. keep on imagining and dreaming. That's what I believe over the years that I heard that you want something and keep on uh, imagining and dreaming about it so that it happens uh, or so that you get something you wish for. Okay. Now, suppose if God were to come here and ask you, what is the one wish you would want to, you would want to uh, uh, accomplish like, what you would say? I would say peace, calm. Happy life, long life. Only one wish. Okay, happy, happy life, long life, okay, it comes into that only, all right, okay. So basically now uh, I'll start my screen share and show you uh, okay. what is the objective of this program. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. So here I have mentioned that manifestation is the art of turning your thoughts and desires into tangible reality. It involves aligning your beliefs, emotions, and actions to attract your goals and desires. Now, what is the objective of this? Three things I want you to get. Is one is understand the concept of manifestation and its role in turning desires into reality. Second is, I'll give you one technique only for manifestation. And third is, you'll be able to visualize your goals vividly and set clear intentions. Okay? First and foremost, now we need to do is, you need to be clear on your goals, on your desires. So for this, we will get into an activity. So now, would you please take out your sheet of paper or your book, one page, and draw four columns in, in that. If it's a four size paper, then just draw one. Make this paper into four parts. One, two, three, four. Okay. okay. In the first column, you write uh, self. In the second column, you write your family okay third is on your career and fourth okay. is on money welcome lloyd hi sorry i was late at a building no meeting problem. so yeah, started. Uh, started and Achha, where is the five of us we are started with the activity, so you need to take one sheet of I'm paper. I'm on the phone here. <laughs> you take a sheet of paper and do four, four, four parts. Okay. In first part, you write self. Second part, you write family. Third part, you write uh, career. And fourth is money. So these four right. aims. Yeah. Okay. So once oh, you do that... Here, Okay. Yeah, you can right. see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So once, once you do that, now I want you to... Hey, Mavis has also joined. I hope Mavis, uh, you know what activity we are doing. Uh, I have just joined actually. I just missed joining on time. Doing some just cooking do, and everything. Uh, right? Just do a, uh, like on a paper, four columns. Uh -huh. And uh, okay. write on one self, on the second column, family. Oh. And third column, career and money. Got it? Fourth column is money. The four, 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 four quarters, okay? 
So now we oh, will okay. just do a short uh, ad. Now before we start writing this, and you can take colored pens and whatever, be more creative because you're going to draw it out, or you're going to write it also. So whatever is uh, comfortable with you, you are easy with, or you can resonate with. Do that activity. So we will just close our eyes, and whatever. Now we'll first take the first column is of self. So in self, what do you want? in this area of self what do you see yourself or how do you want to see yourself in the future how you want your future self to be just close your eyes take a deep breath in exhale through your mouth take a deep breath in exhale through your mouth Deep breath in. Exhale. Now you just visualize how would you want your future self to be? How do you see yourself? And whatever picture comes to your mind or whatever you want the qualities, just start drawing or writing in that block where you have mentioned self. Just draw that draw that person you want to be, or write the qualities. Or you like example, you want to get skilled in such certain things. You you're looking for growth. How you want to be your physique, health, how you see yourself, health, whatever. Give you a few seconds more. Then we move on to the portion of family. Again, close your eyes, and just as you focus on your breath, think about how would you want your family to look like. How much time would you want to spend at home with your kids, with your spouse, with Whoever your friends, whatever, whoever are important to you, write that down. How would your family look like? What do you want it to look like? Drawing would be more better because pictures are easily remembered. Doesn't matter, stick figures, whatever figures it comes. You need Peter for that. <laughs> Next, we will move on to again. Yeah, now we will move on. We will again because a lack of time, you can you can make the pictures more better later on but now we will get into because because of time constraints so again we will what close our eyes and again reflect on the next area that is career how do you want your career to look like what is your vision for your career what do you want to do how what is your goal you what do you see in your career a better job or better what whatever it is and now draw it on your paper or write it down write certain words
Ok Judith, next. Hmm. Next, move on to the money area. What is your money goal? Just close your eyes and reflect and just see what is your, how would you want your money area to be? What is your goal? So, uh, at least keep it 10x, whatever figure you are drawing now, you can make it 10x. Because it's abundant. Uh, Are we done? Yes, done. So basically now what we have done is we have prepared our vision board. Yeah? Have you seen that this is a vision board? There are three things what we need in this manifestation process. First one is you ask, which you have done now by writing on the book on the on the paper you have put your pen to paper and you have written what you want so that ask is is done like these are the seeds which you are sowing in the soil now you have to believe that these will be accomplished do you believe that how strong is our belief Maybe in this point of time, we may not be sure. But then if you want to get the result, belief plays a very important role. Otherwise, it will be like uh, you're asking just for the sake of asking without believing. And without, he said, no, that only if you believe, you will get the results what you want. Like there's a story told of that um, you all must be knowing about the boy who, who uh, there was a, a village where they, they were facing a drought. There was famine and no water, no rain for a long time. And the villagers decided that they, they will all meet together and pray for the rain. So everyone gathered there at a particular time and they were praying for the rain. But there was only one boy who who went with the umbrella. So what was his belief? He believed that if you pray, he will get the rain. So he went well prepared. What do we do? We just ask, but we don't even believe that we will receive that. So that is what makes the difference. So belief plays a very important role. And the third one is receive. God is, abund is, is abundant. He will, he, he will give us whatever we desire in abundance. But are we ready to receive? Or even if he wants to give so much, what are we going there with? Are we going with one teaspoon? So you're going to the ocean. The ocean is big and wide. But you are gone there with your teaspoon. Or you're gone there with one small cup. So how much you'll fill in that? That much only you will be able to take. But there's an ocean. You can go there with bucket or you can go with one big a tanker. So it depends how big is your vessel to receive. So these are the three important criteria which are required in your uh, process of manifestation. If these three things are powerful, is you are strong, your belief system is strong, then surely whatever you have put down on that paper will, will happen or will manifest. That is what we call as manifestation. So I've asked you actually to write 10x figure because you can write whatever figure you want, but at least 10x should be there now if we want. So what we need to do is cultivate a positive mindset. Like I said, you need to believe. And uh, this exercise, what I give you of seeing every time the keep on seeing this vision board daily 
you make it a proper one now because of shortage of time we have done a very rough thing but you can make it you can even stick pictures like separate separate each thing in health area how you want your fitness to look uh, to be whatever in each area you put appropriate pictures if you get and you write down the words or you write down short affirmations also over there that in the uh, whatever you want in that vision board so make a proper one and it's required that you daily see it it's now this seed is planted you have asked the seed is planted now you need a once the seed is planted you cannot just leave the seed there na it will grow by itself no you need to water it it needs the sunlight for it to do the photosynthesis for its food so like the, what is the now when you see this vision board every day you are using your eyes your senses to see it so daily seeing it and and next is you water the seed how you water by repetition you repeat certain affirmations or you keep writing these goals make it in sentences and write down the goals daily so that will be repetition so as the mind can will keep on receiving these same thoughts over and over the certain neural pathways are created which will help there's a lot of scientific thing to it so keep on going to those details but daily repetition is the one is the thing that helps all these uh, successful people have been doing these techniques daily this particular one if you uh, have observed they keep doing this they have their vision board their goals their targets whatever are right in front of them that is all the time playing so we need to keep the watering the seed same way we need to keep repetition is the thing what we need to do if you keep repeating it over and over daily i i will share one youtube link uh, with you all that uh, there's a 30 day challenge in that you youtube link box. this is called the stranger secret by all nightingale in that he has given a challenge like to write your goals daily for 30 days so now since we started with this activity then we might as well listen to that and keep writing daily maybe for 10 minutes also we'll do but when we are doing this mm -hmm. we need to be in the positive uh, mindset or not when we are feeling dull and low and then you go and write your goals it will not have any impact when you are in the proper frame of mind when you are in a happy mood that is the time you go and or write your goals write your it's better to do in the morning they say because that's the when you are fresh and if it is not convenient to you then whatever time you want please please keep doing that so we can give a time of one month and see the changes what what is happening and then if it doesn't happen continue it for another month because we, we don't give timing to the universe no in its own time it will be done but we have put our goals down on the paper we have done our part of re, of asking now what we need to strengthen is our belief and belief will be strengthened only by doing repetition you repeat it over 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 so much so that your the words will become really true okay now we'll get into there are only okay. 10 minutes left so now i'll just take you into one small meditation now we have done hey, welcome peter judith uh, just Welcome, Peter. You are late. You finished one activity. You missed an activity. Okay, it was about okay. goal goal writing and uh, whatever is your goal, you have to write in the area of self, uh, family, money, and um, career. Okay, you can draw figures, uh, pictures, or whatever you need to do. Since you are late, now uh, there is uh, this meeting will end end in uh, ten minutes. so okay. i will lead you all into a small meditation so that uh, and then maybe we can continue in the next okay yeah so just uh, get comfortable and just sit focus on your breath
take a deep breath in. Release through your mouth. Again, take a deep breath in. Release through your mouth. Deep breath in. Release through your mouth. Now think of the time or the times many when you were very happy. You were so happy. You were excited. It can be in the recent past or maybe when you were young, in college, school, whenever you remember. The happiest time of your life until now, which you vividly remember. Just think of that. Get into that feeling, into that emotion. How were you feeling? How was your body language at that time? Excited, happy, celebrating, laughing. Get into that feeling right now. Are you feeling the same feeling? In this, say, as you feel these feelings, now look, at, just think of the vision board which you have just created in the area of self. What are the pictures you do? What are the things you wrote? In the area of career, in the area of family, in the area of money. All these things, what you have just put down on paper, just see these things. And what if it had already happened right now? You had already accomplished this 10x figure what you have put. You would have already accomplished the family goals, the health goals, the career goals, the money goal. How would you be feeling at this time? Can you see yourself? Feeling the same feeling of excitement, of joy, all are celebrating, or you are celebrating. How are people congratulating you? Who are the people congratulating you? Can you hear their voices? Are you feeling these feelings now of joy, of achievement? Are you happy, excited? Okay, in the same feeling, take a deep breath in. Exhale and open your eyes. How do you feel? How is the feeling? Uh, I imagined uh, those uh, moments I went to that, but to get that feeling, uh, I think it'll, it would still take time if I uh, meditate some more. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time you're doing so many days. Yeah, you need practice. Practice only will help. Yeah, Lloyd, any, any, any reactions? Uh, actually, I have just come from multiple things, so my mind is not as relaxed. As okay. it should be. Yeah, yeah. But I think a physical one will be better, you know, whenever we do this. Yeah, I've yeah. I've done this in the past. But yeah, it needs to be in physical presence. Online is a little tricky. Yes, correct, correct, correct. So now I come back to the, to the first question which I asked you. If God was here and asked you, what is your one wish? What would you say now? Now you'll have to tell who are the only juniors in grace. You know? Tell me what you would say. I'd bring back my school days back. Okay. For, for hey, grace. Junior, school days, no money. Yeah? Jan Rakhna. School so days means no money. So what I would say is if this one wish is there, then I will show him my vision board. No? This is what I want. So all things are included. 
that's the best thing you can do so everything comes in that daily doing what's your vision <laughs> what's your vision board whatever we have written on our vision board achha, just achha, now achha. so you what Haan. is your one wish so that this is accomplished okay otherwise we have so many goals you no know? we want to ask so many things but he says only one wish so then our wish, this is my one wish which is there on this paper so he will say tatas to so be it good so the youtube link i will share with you all uh, on the chat or something or in the group i will put which you can hear daily and uh, write your goals daily is anyone doing this practice of writing goals or anything i am just doing a gratitude positive that writing i am doing okay you know send it on whatsapp judith yeah i'll send on whatsapp also don't So how much time we have? Do we have some questions? Yeah, you can. Yeah, please ask any questions if you have. No, you are done. Are you done? You are finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I want to ask is uh, so should I be working hard for it or just manifest about it? You need And to. Judith, what happened? You're on mute, Judith. Unmute. 